We're going to the labs on this week's episode of the Animal Rescuers. The Animal Rescuers has been adopted by Pet Planet. There is nothing more important to us than your pet's health. Hi Michelle, thank you so much for meeting with us today on this beautiful Saturday morning. And we have here, this is Oki, and Oki is an eight-year-old male. A uh, fox red Labrador that we... What did you say? Uh, fox? fox red okay. is a color of Labrador. You can see his ears. And we got him out of the east side pound. He was picked up as a stray. He's gained a little bit of weight since we've had him, but he was really skin and bones when we got him. They've aged him at eight years old. That's the pound's best guess and our vet's best guess about how old he is by teeth and coloring and that sort of thing. Okie is currently not in a foster home. We are full in our foster homes. We're always looking for foster homes, especially for our older dogs. Um, he's at one of our kennels, and so we do have volunteers that go over there and play with them and spend time with them, but our preference is to have all of our dogs in foster. It's very difficult. Um, this year we've seen a lot of older dogs being dumped. Um, he must have been dumped on the street. Some of them call us for own, as owner turn-ins to turn in their dogs. But these are dogs that are eight, nine, 11, 12 years old. Um, some of them, of course, we can take, and some of them, of course, we can't. Um, some of the 12, 13-year-olds, we know that they're gonna be permanently with us. They're not gonna be adoptable, and that's okay. Sometimes we take those but it is a continuous problem. So this is something, a new problem that you see occurring repeatedly is with the older dogs, because to me that is just so sad, it's not right. That's a member of your family, and for these people to just leave the dog in the street to let it go hungry, it's wrong. I'm so sorry that that happened to Oki. He does need a foster yes. home. He does. I'm hoping after this show he gets one. Me too. <laughs> now, my other question is, how did you get involved in rescue? Um, about five and a half years ago, I lost my two uh, girl labs. And um, when we looked, when we were finally ready to have another member of our family, um, we got online and found Desert Labrador Retriever Rescue and adopted a great eight-year-old black lab named Rupert and um, he's just the light of my life and about four months after having him and adjusting with him in the home I got involved in doing events and fundraising for the organization. So you're very partial to labs. I am very partial to labs. I like labs too. The breed is very happy go lucky. They make great companions for young children and they become members of a family that they there's just so much love from a Labrador. Is that your experience also? Yes. I mean, it's definitely my experience that Labradors can be great family dogs, but I think that a lot of dogs get dumped because it's a misconception that all Labradors are like that. That is overall how the breed is. But a lot of dogs do need, most dogs need a lot of love and attention and training, and they don't become that perfect family dog without the proper training and attention from their family. People need to take better care of their animals. That's it in a nutshell, I believe. I agree, I absolutely agree. I, don't, I, mean, I know people with children don't like this analogy, but they're just like your children. They don't grow up to be great people on their own. Mm -hmm. um, they need parenting, and dogs don't grow up to be great dogs on their own. Some of them do, but the majority of them don't. They need good parenting as well. Health issues that do come with all breeds, but particular to the Labrador Retriever. Can you cover what some of those issues are? Sure, some of the health issues that are particular to Labradors are joint issues and allergies. Um, we do see a lot of dogs that come in that have allergies, whether it be food allergies or environmental allergies. Um, these are issues that can be 
um, taken care of pretty economically, um, but sometimes it feels very overwhelming to see your dog, you know, itching like crazy and not knowing what to do for your dog. Um, also joint issues, hip dysplasia, elbow and knee problems. Um, when dogs come into our organization, we give them any medical care that they need that is apparent to us when they're in our care. So we do do knee replacements, hip replacements, um, hip surgeries. Um, we treat them with um, glucosamine chondroitin for different types of arthritic conditions, and we do give them allergy medication. We are a 100% volunteer organization. Um, there's a variety of things that people can help with, anything from doing paperwork for us to going and playing with the dogs that aren't in foster care that are in our kennels, to going to events and showing our dogs at meet and greet events, to doing helping with fundraising. And so if people can open their homes to another dog and help them find their forever home, that's probably the most important thing that we need. So what would the process be if somebody wanted OP right now? Um, because we are a 100% volunteer organization and we don't have a building, we are 100% online. They go to our website, they fill out an application, it's a $10 application fee, and then one of our volunteers from around the state will pick up their application and come to their home and do a home visit. We like to meet all of the humans and all of the animals living in the home to make sure that their expectations meet our expectations so that the dog that ends up in their home ends up there forever. Really, the, what keeps us going are donations. We're 100% donation funded. We have a great fundraiser in October, October 26. It's called Corks and Collars. It's a wine tasting silent auction and it's super fun. Um, go to our website. Cor actually, it has its own web website, corksandcollars.org, and we have that um, fundraiser. And also, our biggest need is really foster homes. Do you trust the food you feed? At Pet Planet, our commitment is to helping our customers navigate through the confusing world of pet food, reading ingredient panels, asking critical questions about manufacturing and ingredient quality. Our pets rely on us to make the very best decisions we can for their health, happiness, and longevity. Pet Planet is here as your partner in pet health because there's nothing more important to us than your pet's health. You can be a part of the animal rescuers also, making a difference for the animals and bringing your business to center stage. Become a sponsor for the show. Ad rates are very low for the summer, so now is the time to jump on board. And you can be an animal rescuer too. Make the call. Welcome back to the Animal Rescuers, adopted by Pet Planet. A new initiative was recently enacted by the cities of Phoenix and Mesa to help animal rescue. Our very own Barry Mears of PAC 911 is here to tell you all about it. PAC 911 is part of an organization called the Alliance. And through the, the Alliance, we have come together with PetSmart and the Nina Mason Pulliam Foundation. And we have created a new campaign to help the homeless animals of our community. It's called Fix, Adopt, and Save. And we ask all the viewers to take the pledge and raise your right paw to fix, adopt, and save to help make our community safer and happier for the homeless animals. So what does this mean? This means that never before have we had so much publicity and community involvement in making people aware of the need to spay and neuter their pets. And the reason we need them to do so is because of the huge pet overpopulation problem, which is the reason for so many euthanasias in every community, ours included. Fix, that means please spay and neuter your pets. Adopt, that's easy enough to figure out. PAC 911 holds 10 to 11 major adoption events every year. Come to our events and adopt, or go to your local PetSmart. Many of our partnering groups are at PetSmart with their animals every single weekend. Adopt your next pet. 
save a life. And you will feel so good about that. The last part is save. By fixing, by adopting, you are saving lives. We also ask that in your community, if you see feral cats, that you get involved with the TNR programs. That means trap, neuter, and release. And there are many organizations that are cat feral organizations that will help you with TNR. So fix, adopt, save. Be a part of the solution. Don't be a part of the problem. Thank you. The first Pet Planet store opened in 1996 after the devastating loss of our Cocker Spaniel to cancer. What we learned then about pet health was eye-opening. The food and the treats that we were giving him did not support his immune system and may have actually harmed him. Pet Planet was established to be a community resource, a store that offers only the healthiest products and the best knowledge on pet health issues. At Pet Planet, there is nothing more important to us than your pet's health. You can be a part of the animal rescuers also, making a difference for the animals and bringing your business to center stage. Become a sponsor for the show. Ad rates are very low for the summer, so now is the time to jump on board. And you can be an animal rescuer too. Make the call. Welcome back to the Animal Rescuers, adopted by Pet Planet. Sebastian is deaf, but doesn't let it stop him. He's about a year old and enjoys playing, but what he enjoys most of all is being around people. Sebastian would do best in a home with children ages seven and up, as he seems to like to herd the little ones. He's an active boy that would enjoy joining you in your daily activities, but he'd also be happy to curl up in the evenings and watch television. He's a lovely, very people-oriented boy. Hi, welcome to Fit with Fido. Come join us. We're on our run and we're gonna play some ball. We're gonna have a lot of fun getting fit with our pet. Maxie and I have had our little run. We did about, oh, a mile and a half today. And it's hot, so it's early, but it's still too warm for her and for me too. So I like to give her a little massage whenever we're finished, which she really loves. I massage her joints. You know, in the morning when she wakes up, she does the downward dog which is a yoga pose. And if you've ever done yoga, you know what the downward dog is. It's stretching your back and opening the muscles that support your spine. So she loves this. She's still pretty hyper right now because she wants to still run. She could do five more miles for sure. I couldn't in the Arizona heat, that's for sure. But um, it's important to stretch to get into the muscle that supports the shoulder and the top of the leg, because they love this. And if it hurts them, they'll let you know, which means, you know, when you have a massage and it hurts a little bit, it means that you needed it. So Maxi Girl gets a lot of exercise just by running. If it's too hot and I can't run early in the morning because it's 90 degrees already, I go outside and play ball with her and she gets her cardio work and it's a really good way to start the day for her. She will not let me rest if she doesn't get her fitness routine. So I would love to hear what you do with your rescue pet for a fitness routine. It would be wonderful to chat with you. So do get in touch with me. Do you trust the food you feed? At Pet Planet, our commitment is to helping our customers navigate through the confusing world of pet food, reading ingredient panels, asking critical questions about manufacturing and ingredient quality. Our pets rely on us to make the very best decisions we can for their health, happiness, and longevity. 
Pet Planet is here as your partner in pet health because there's nothing more important to us than your pet's health. The women we love, the women who love us, they are dying. Heart disease is our number one killer, taking more lives than all forms of cancer combined. But we have the power to save those lives, our lives, because the greatest force for women is women. It's time to stand together, to fight harder, to shout louder. It's time to go red for women. Hi, I'm Jen, and this is your Pet Planet Pet Tip of the Week. This week, we're gonna focus on water safety. Whether you're taking your dog paddling in a canoe or out boating on the lake, please make sure you consider wearing a life jacket. Just don't assume that your dog can swim. And in fact, even if your dog can swim, a lot of dogs are not strong swimmers. Consider this, if your pet were to fall overboard, would they have enough endurance and strength to avoid exhaustion or even hypothermia if they fall into very cold water? Fast currents can be stronger than his strength to outswim them. The distance to the shore may be further than he can swim. He may become disoriented and actually not even swim towards shore. A dog jumps from or is thrown from a boat at high speeds can be injured when they impact the water. There are many different types of life jackets on the market today. Canine friendly is probably Pet Planet's favorite. Reason being, they are a bright orange color so they're easily seen in the water. This life jacket has a adjustable clips at the, both the neck and the chest to make an easy fit for your pet. They also have a comfort grip off the top. So if you're having to reach into the water to grab you and lift your dog out of the water, it makes it a lot easier on you. You can also use these as a temporary harness when you're going from the car to the boat. There's a D-ring clip here for leash attachment. If your home has a pool in the backyard, this too poses very serious potential safety risks. Pool safety for pets is as synonymous as it is for children, and it goes far beyond just careful supervision. With pets and children, you should never assume that you can watch them all the time. It only takes a few seconds of distraction for either one to fly out the door and into the pool. Here are just a few of the issues you should consider. Dogs are just as much at risk for pool accidents as children are. Not all dogs have the ability to swim. Certain breeds, as well as handicapped and older pets, may have special difficulties. Keep the pool area fenced and secure. Purchase pet pool safety products that can help your pets get safely out of the water. These could include things such as ramps, again life jackets, and pool alarms. Pools are not the only danger. Ponds and hot tubs can also have the same fatal effects. Most importantly, never leave your pets unsupervised near open water, as accidents, they can happen in just a split second. One final consideration is after swimming pet care. Dogs that swim a lot are prone to what's called swimmer's ear, which is an infection that occurs when you leave the ears wet after swimming. The prevention is simple. After your dog goes for a swim, be sure to clean their ears thoroughly using an ear cleaner that's specifically designed for pets and then make sure that you dry them thoroughly. Stay tuned next week for another Pet Planet Pet Tip. More of the Animal Rescuers coming right up. You can be a part of the Animal Rescuers also, making a difference for the animals and bringing your business to center stage. Become a sponsor for the show. Ad rates are very low for the summer, so now is the time to jump on board. And you can be an animal rescuer too. Make the call. Welcome back to the Animal Rescuers, adopted by Pet Planet. Our great friends at Pet Planet near Paradise Valley Mall hosted a meet and greet for Desert Labrador Retriever Rescue. So many varieties of labs showed up and the people who came to meet them had a great time.
We had so much fun on this week's show with the labs. We hope you did too. This is Kimberly reminding you, adopt, donate, volunteer, spay and neuter, and you can be an animal rescuer too. See you next time. They always make him laugh. <laughs> he thinks I'm ridiculous. Okay, well, we're going to have some issues with the, uh, the airplane. There's just no way that we're going to be able to... Airweight, stop! <laughs> just stop! Remember, don't you have any airplanes <laughs> to work for the airlines? I know, that's why I'm telling them, home. <laughs>